the same present value you are supposed to write but every year the present value will change the agenda is very simple we will do concept as well as problems on future value as well as present value there are total five years you are supposed to write five times every year the numbers are changed means you are supposed to go like this this is all about your future value calculation hello everyone this is your other sir lecturing with the ashram first grade college the temple of excellence so we are in the session 7 of your topic called time value of money in the previous session we worked out your future value problems now the same kind of problem with a little extra adjustment we will work out in today's session so what is the agenda for the day the agenda is very simple we will do concept as well as problems on future value as well as present value but in today's session we will work out problems on future value now so this is your problem number 3 problem 1 and problem 2 already we have completed and now we are into problem number 3 now in this what happened in the previous problem we used to get only one amount like what is that like if you invest 5000 after 5 years what will be the value so that is called future value but in this problem they have given like first year he has invested 1000 again he has invested 2 again 3 2 and 1500 every year the investment amount are changed see he is investing at the end of 5 years like every year and he is investing 1 2 3 2 as well as 1500 now these are the informations we have right now according to this we are supposed to calculate now So we will go for the same formula. No changes in the formula, but how many years we have? One, two, three, four, five. It is nothing but we have to write your formula five times. Along again, I am repeating. So you have five years problem. You have to repeat your formula five times. How to do that? I'll show you. Your formula will be like this. See. this will be your future value is equal to present value 1 plus r to the power of t plus present value multiplied with 1 plus r to the power of t this is for first year this is for second plus present value is equal to 1 plus r to the power of t this is for third year still we have two more years plus present value is equal to 1 plus r to the power of 3 fourth year and plus present value is equal to 1 plus r to the power of t this is your fifth year now we have year 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 Here for total we have five years. Now, as per this, we'll simplify one by one. Before that, we will understand what are the information given in the problem. Now, so these are the present value. These are the present value: one thousand, two thousand, three. Again, two thousand, one thousand, five hundred. Now, your present value is equal to one thousand. Two thousand, three thousand, again two thousand, and one thousand five hundred. Now, what is your T and what is your R? So your T means time. This is for five years. Rate means rate of interest. In this problem, the rate of interest is ten percent. Now, ten percent we can call it as zero point one zero. these are the informations already available in the question according to that we are supposed to calculate now as per this we'll simplify this now remember 
whatever present value you have taken, I'll, the same present value you are supposed to write, but every year the present value will change. Now, the future value is equal to, what is your present value? 1000. 1 plus, what is the rate? 0 0.10. Now, plus, the number of years I'll put later, nothing to worry. I need to explain how to take number of years. So, first we'll fill everything. Later will come for number of years. Now, the second one, it will be 2000. 1 plus 0 0.10 plus third one 3000. 1 plus 0 0.10 Fourth one, again 2000, 1 plus 0 0.10, fifth one, 1500, 1 plus 0 0.10. Now, so these are the informations we got. Now, the time we have not filled. How to fill time? Very simple. Now, how many years problem? Five years problem. Now. Value at the end of five years means every year end you are investing. If you are investing at the end of the year, when you will get interest next year means whatever 1000 you have invested, one, two, three, four. Total you will get four years interest. For 2000 you will get three years. 3000 two years. 2000 one year. 1500 zero hope you understood for thousand rupees you will get interest for four years now this must be four then three two one zero remember if your question is about six years how to go five four three two one zero seven years six five four three two one zero if it is only three years 210 like this you are supposed to calculate number of years what they have given in the question we will not mention we will reduce one and from there we calculate now these are the informations are available in your question now along with this along with this will simplify now 1.10 into 1.10 four times they have given we simplify four times so two times into 1.103 into 1.104 how much we got 1.46 before that still we have to simplify 1000 1 plus 1 1.10 1 1.10 2000 1 plus 1 1.10 3 plus 3000 just we are adding this 1.10 two times 2000 1.10 one time 1500 1.10 zero times now we'll simplify one by one in this 1000 how much it is 1.10 into 1.10 into 2 times over 1.10 3 times over 1.10 4 times over 1.464 plus we will go for this one 2000 multiplied with what is it 1.10 we have to take it 3 times into 1.10 2 times into 1.10 three times 1.331 2000 1.331 plus we'll go for this is two times 1.10 into 1.10 it will be 1.21 1 3000 1.21 plus 2000 will remain as it is this is 1.10 only plus 1500 this is not required if it is zero means no need of any calculation now multiply these two how much you will get this will be 1464 plus 
2000 multiplied with 1.331. This will be 2662 plus this will be 3000 multiplied with 1.21. 3000 multiplied with 1.21. This is 3630 plus 2000 multiplied with 1.10. It will be 2200 plus 1500. These are the calculation. Now add everything. How much you will get? 1464 plus 2662 plus 3630 plus 2200 plus 1500. How much you got? 11,456. This is what? Your future value. Hope you understood. If every year the numbers are changed means you are supposed to go like this. This is all about your future value calculation. I'll show all these slides means you have one question and one answer slide so that you can take screenshot. So this is your problem number three, the solution part of problem number three. We'll go for problem number four. It is almost similar to your problem number three only. So better please keep a book, pen as well as your calculator. Please work out this along with me. If there is anything is wrong, you can cross verify with the answer what I have done on the screen now. So the same procedure, we have 12% and end of five years. Along with that, these are the information. 2000, 4000, again 2000, 3000 and 5000. First we'll write on the formula and come back for the answer. So what is the formula you have? For this, we have formula called future value is equal to present value 1 plus r to the power of t plus present value 1 plus r to the power of t plus present value 1 plus r to the power of t plus present value 1 plus r to the power of t and plus present value 1 plus r to the power of t. How many times you are supposed to write formula? I'll show you. There are total five years. You are supposed to write five times. Now, this is one and this one is 2, this one is 3, this one 4 and the last one is 5. Total we have 5 years. Now we'll calculate this one by one. What is your present value? Now as per this your present value is how much? 2000. So before that I'll write down this so that you will understand better in this. Your present value is 2000. How much? 4, 2, 3, 5. 4, 2000, 3000, 5000. 2000, 3000, and 5000. Now, what is your time and what is your rate? The time is 5 years, rate is 12%. 0.12. These are the informations available in the question. First, we are supposed to write down these information. Then we are supposed to start your problem. Now, as per this, first one present value 2000. 1 plus, what is the rate? The rate is 12%. I can take it as 0.12. The time I'll come later plus what is the present value 4000 1 plus 0 0.12 plus the present value is 2000 1 plus rate 0 0.12 plus the present value 3000 1 plus 0.12 the present value you have 
5,000, 1 plus uh, rate. So these are the informations we copied. Now, as I told you, if it is a 5 years, how to calculate? 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So it will be 4, 3, 2, 1. This will be 0. Again, we'll simplify this. This will be 2,000. 1.12 to the power of 4, 4,000, 1.12 to the power of 3, 2,000, 1.12 to the power of 2, 3,000, 1.12 to the power of 1, 5,000. If it is 0, no need of writing your 1 plus R. Whatever you calculate, the final answer will become 0 only. Now, so now again we'll simplify this. 2000 will remain as it is. 1.12 you are supposed to calculate for four times. Now 1.12 into 1.12 two times into 1.12 three into 1.12 four into 1.12 yeah we are supposed to calculate till four times. Now 1.12 1.12 1.12 and 1.12. So it will be 1.573. Now we'll go for the second one. So this will be 4000. What will be the answer? 1.12, 1.12, 1.12. This will be 1.40. Plus 2000 as it is. 1.12 multiplied with 1.12 this will be 1.25 plus 3000 as it is 1.12 plus 5000 why i have taken 1.12 no need of multiplication why because we are supposed to take only once now in this we have 2000 multiplied with 1.573. So this will be 3146. 4000 multiplied with 1.40. 5600. 2000 multiplied with 1.25. 2500. 3000 multiplied with 1.12, 3360 and the last one is 5000. Now add everything 3146, 5600, 2500, 3360 and 5000. The total is 19606. This is your future value hope you understood so easiest one but just you are, you are supposed to remember the formula now i'll go back to your previous slide so that you can take screenshot your problem number four the solution for problem number four so this is all about your today's session so hope you understood in the next session we'll go with some more problems Thank you.